Nation. It's been a minute, hasn't it? It's nice to see y'all faces. It's your host, Agent Beamstar. Let's get right into the news. Hey, it's about damn time. We got all kinds of NBA 2K21 action going on. This 2K drama alert, a whole bunch of bickering and feud and drama and uh, juiciness between 2K content creators. We're getting into all of that goodness today, ladies and gentlemen. It's been a minute since I've seen y'all beautiful faces. Drop a like. If y'all new, subscribe to the channel. We do this over here. A second channel link in the description. It's almost at 300K. If y'all haven't subscribed, I'm dropping a three-point shootout versus Flight and Davis tomorrow. So go ahead and do that. <laughs> Guys, for the first story of the day. I'm gonna start things off on a positive note because it might not be a lot of positive here in this 2K drama alert, all right? Uh, the one and only Steezo does a mixtape with the best dribblers in the NBA 2K community, and he just released a 12 minute long video, just kind of commemorating the people in that ISO community. And so if you guys do want to see some good content, I will leave the link in the description. Shout out Steezo. It seems like a, at this point, yearly annual community event, and it's always fun to see. We get it, we get some, we got G-Man right here. Whoop. Yeah, uh, the editing is incredible on this too. I don't know who you got to do it, but hit me up. Relax, Waleed. He's not coming for your job. For our second story of the day, I want to keep things light for a moment. It's a really, really cringy video I saw. I want to watch with you guys, all right? The one and only marketing wizard himself, Ronnie2k, decided to bless everybody on the timeline here with this TikTok video. And I'm not going to say much. We're just going to have to watch it together. I have some sneakers. I throw them in the air. They become Air Jordans. Woo! <sighs> I have a belt. I have a watch. That's what you call a waste of time. Got him. Oh, I have some cheese. I give it to you. No, it's nacho cheese. <gasps> and then I have a Sophie. I put her up. That's what we call. What's up, dog? Yeah, got him. <laughs> this is the worst video I have ever seen. My God, Ronnie, could you have done anything cringier? It, it made my day significantly worse when I seen it, so I decided to make everybody else's day significantly worse. Subscribe to the channel. I do that a lot here. All right, man, can we get into some real stories finally? For the next story of the day, uh, it's not really a story, it's actually just me talking for a moment because the big story was the fact that we weren't getting any news for an extended period of time, but here today, ladies and gentlemen, that changed. Folks in the 2K community, though, were a little frustrated. You could tell I'm a little outdated. I just came back from LA. I was shooting a lot of videos. But I'm getting to all the goodness, guys. I cover all the news over here, down here, in this setup and studio. 2K drama Agent Beamstar here. Uh, Grinding puts out a tweet saying, Is it me, or does it not even feel like 2K21's dropping in a month because we literally have no official news? Bandit tweets, we waiting on some gameplay and 2K's talking about the soundtrack. Man, we trying to hoop, not dance. And it didn't help that Ronnie 2K was on stream. Uh, is it? Is that DDG? And happy. Oh, that's not. That's Enelie Chapa. I, I did not do that on purpose. I swear to God. I should have known since his name was everywhere. Yeah, he was basically just hyping up the soundtrack for the game because you know everyone buys the game for the soundtrack. And we'll get back to the news that dropped by NBA 2K21 in a moment. But man, did we see one of the biggest, juiciest dramas all year long in the NBA 2K community just a few days ago, ladies and gentlemen? For the next story of the day. It was a lot that went on, and it all started with one tweet from Joe Knows. I hate doing this, but I wouldn't be a real person if I didn't call it like I see it. Chalk, you are 100% a fake person. Every interaction I've had with you is always all love and wishing you the best, but this is what you're doing behind my back, spreading 100% false rumors. And right here, he's referring to a, a, a chain of texts where Chalk basically accuses privately here with this person through text, Joe knows of view botting saying that it is not natural to get those amount of views. Joe knows follows up saying your clan promotes supporting everyone, but the leader is throwing shade on creators because they're succeeding. 
Disgusting. You're blocked forever. Make your little clout chase video and spread some lies to try and save yourself. But then things got infinitely more interesting because just a moment later, Luck put out this tweet. Lol, he said you're the one viewed up view botting, but he's the one doing it. Look at the views. It's impossible for a video to go from 80k down to 45k, and the other one went from 80k to 70k. That's view botting. Just look at the screenshots and see for yourself. And he shows some screenshots here of a video going from 45k three weeks ago, and then you see the same video 88k, 73k, 81k. So basically, it's not possible for a video to go down in views. Anyway, uh, this is just all surface level accusations going on right here. Joe Knows said, you'll never get another response from me because I know it would only help you. Good luck with whatever you do, but I can't ever associate with you again. Agent Zero put out a tweet saying, on the case with the emoji. <laughs> After further analysis, Joe is not botting. He just makes videos people in the 2K community want to watch. And all my time here on YouTube, I have never met a person that view botted because it's very obvious when it happens, one, and two, not sustainable. So to argue that a guy that who's doing well because he's making videos people want to watch is botting is absolute lunacy, especially when there's no evidence to prove it. Power put out a tweet saying, it's always the guilty people accusing everyone else of being guilty, with a whole gang of crying laughing emojis. Easy Breezy puts out a tweet saying, that's a bad look. Nade responded to the drama saying, WTF? With a cringe emoji. Agent Zero himself put out a tweet saying, accusing someone of botting because your views fell off, but the next man's views keep climbing to some of the most haters I've seen all year, and I happen to agree. <laughs> Yo, that's some hater shit like I've never seen. I swear to God, to argue someone's views aren't natural because they're doing well with zero evidence to prove that they're botting is some of the wildest shit I've seen all year. No exaggeration, Agent Zero. That's a fact. I'm Davis responded to Agent's tweet saying, I swear. Cole the Man saying, on God. Los Polos responded saying, it's people from the 2K community, bro. Past three days, I've been streaming the game. I've been accused of view botting on my stream, LMAO. Power responds, this community needs to learn how to be happy for others. It helps everybody when others do well in the community. No need to be jealous or try to compete with everyone. Which is true, it's absolutely true. If Joe Knows blows up here or Lamasta does something over there and they do incredible and they surpass Agent Zero, Troy Dang, Cash Nasty, I'm Davis, tippity top community, cool, right? If that happens, everybody else should be excited by the prospect and they just showed us what else is possible. They just paved the road, man. They did the hardest part for everybody else. It's so all you have to do is pay attention and adjust. It's some sh work in here. You would like to do that kind of content, then boom, do that kind of content then. I, this is not, it's not really that complicated, ladies and gentlemen. Now I get real happy when I see other people in content creating game, especially in the 2K community succeed. Cause it's like, man, this is like a big community and there's thousands of content creators. There's gonna be some people that blow up. There's gonna be some people that fall off. Shit happens. Man, that's, that's some hater shit. I guarantee you that. Nadex put out a tweet saying, I don't know why people care about another person's views. Just worry about yourself. Now I'll say this, Nate, if there was a person in the community view bottom, I'd definitely be interested. I've never seen some shit like that before in this here NBA 2K community on YouTube. Grinding responded, it's disrespectful. Discrediting a whole man's grind with no proof whatsoever just to make yourself feel better, pure jealousy. But then the conversation quickly began to change because if you guys remember, Chalk was the first legend in NBA 2K20. Dignify sent some accusations in his direction because he put out this tweet saying, can we all agree that Chalk boosted to legend now? Phantoms responds, no hating. Is it even possible to do what he did as one person? Now, I don't wanna get involved in that conversation because I didn't do the rep grind, so I can't tell you what is and isn't possible, whether or not he did or didn't boost. Maybe he just grinded really, really hard. Maybe he got some people on his account. I don't know. I can't participate in those accusations. View botting, though, I do this YouTube shit. I would know. So after everybody in the community gave their input, Chalk was on Twitter with his response. He said this. This community wants to see me fail more than anyone else. They're really out here having my friends set me up in text convos. Actually wild. You also see how every single 2K YouTuber comes out when my name is mentioned. I don't tweet about anyone else. And if you think there's no buddy buddy system in all this, you're an idiot. You think all these guys just happen to tweet at the same time? They all happen to be paying attention at the same time right now? It's all set up. Yeah, Chalk, we're on Twitter, man. I saw it because grinding added me. I'm Agent Beamstar. I see. Hey, is this news to anybody? 
Bro, if I put out a tweet right now saying Joe knows is garbage content creator, as a joke, I guarantee you in a matter of five minutes, every big content creator is gonna have something to say about the hater that I just said. Okay, so now I'll flip the rolls now. Chalk, mm, you said some haters. And you know what's crazy is I actually kind of feel for Chalk. And oddly enough, because in his video, which we'll get to in a moment, he tried to sit there and violate me saying I was a negative kind of person. Ladies and gentlemen, have, what am I negative about? I'm always trying to uplift and do positive stuff, besides the point. There are times where someone's texting me and I don't really want to be talking to the person. So I just go with whatever they're saying. Because they may end this convo. I'm not trying to have this convo with you. I just want to end right here so there i mean there is a real possibility that chalk was just like yep all right bro like man so i do feel what chalk is saying what he did wasn't in a public setting it was private he was just texting the guy that guy decided to screenshot it and send it to people that's how everyone found out chalk put out a tweet saying if dudes really had a problem with what i said they would have messaged me they would have just blocked me since when does everything that someone says negative about you get posted gotta tip my hat to them what a power move Someone responded to Chalk saying, but you called out a dude with no proof. The f you talking about? He didn't say that. I, I should probably start reading people's tweets verbatim. He said, TF you mean. Chalk responded saying, did I call him out? Or am I texting someone and just half-heartedly going along with the combo? I tweeted something, made a video on something, get out of here. I'm sorry, the grammar is throwing me off big time right now, ladies and gentlemen. I'm trying real hard to follow these tweets for you guys as the greatest news channel on the history of the planet Earth. Uh, subscribe to the channel if y'all new. Don't miss out. <laughs> By the way, Power and Chalk used to be in a clan together. So these guys are familiar with each other. And if I'm not mistaken, Power was a part of Chalk's rep grind to get to Legend uh, and grinding as well. So Power put out this tweet saying, since everybody is talking about Chalk right now, I will say from my experience with him, he's one of the most two-faced manipulative fake people in this community. All I'm gonna say. Tonyo put out a tweet saying, how you accuse someone of view botting, but you do it yourself. So everything culminated and this all happened by the way in a matter of like one hour. Everybody was just involved on Twitter and uh, Chalk put out a video the next day titled the NBA 2K community tried to cancel me. And in this video he alleges that there was some kind of scheme that the person that was texting him was trying to bait him to say those things and when he said those things he sent those texts to the people he knew were going to have a reaction. He also argued that because there are screenshots who screenshot somebody's views that this was some kind of huge scheme and everybody was out to get him and in this video he even called agent zero a hater for the tweet he put out hey, and hey, i'm just trying to think to myself man i know this agent guy and i ain't never seen him hate the way he's describing right here chalk saying someone's views aren't natural because they're doing well is hating wow, that's a certain level of projection right there man but in the video, he spent a lot of the time arguing that the DF clan that both Grinding and Power are a part of have it out for him. That they spent all this time to try and get people to go get him and quote unquote cancel him from the community. So that sat for about a couple days. And at this point, I'm in LA kind of chilling, doing my thing. Next thing you know, Duke, I'm with Duke. We're in the same room, just looking over Hollywood Hills. Beautiful view, by the way, ladies and gentlemen. Video's dropping on the second channel, link in the description. Yeah, Duke basically showed Agent Zero the video. He was like, yo. Uh, grinding just dropped a banger. And I was like, word? So then I, I went to see what grinding dropped. And grinding dropped probably one of the funniest exposed videos you'll ever get an opportunity to see. He put out a tweet on Twitter saying this. Hey Chalk, this is your tape. It's time someone told the truth. And you know what the funny part is? You know how I can prove Chalk is a liar? In his video, he claimed he did research and went into the Discord and caught us red-handed in there with his AE member. Who in the world would do something like that? So I did a little bit of research. You know, I dug into the situation a little bit. I went on Discord and what? Do you know? Look at who the guy's in the Discord room with. Look at who he's sitting in there with. I mean, can I even be surprised at this point? But if you look at this screenshot, our voices are moving, which means it had to be taken from someone in the call, aka Auto. Not convinced yet, it also says invite friends, which you can't do unless you're in the call. Oh, and lastly, Chalk has never been in Power's Discord ever. Like, that was the most insignificant thing to lie about, and you still made it seem like you were this good guy finding out what his friends were doing. 
mean, think about this, y'all. If he's willing to lie about something as small as that, what else is he lying about? Like, really think about it. Listen, this is where the whole thing really starts getting juicy. First legend shock is view body. There's no if, ands, or buts about it. He is literally view body. The video is very long. It's 23 minutes long, but grinding hit on every point that Chalk made in the video, and he did a great job of disproving it. He proved that nobody was out for Chalk, and that the things that Chalk was saying in his video were either exaggerated or an absolute lie, and then he kind of flipped the script on him saying, you just accused Joe of view botting, but here is evidence of you doing that. Now here's the thing, it could be a glitch with YouTube system, but I've never seen a glitch of that magnitude before. Only time YouTube removes views or subs is when it feels like it's not a legitimate view or sub, which is why you'll occasionally see those subscriber purges where everybody on the platform drops in subscribers, because YouTube is like, those weren't real accounts. It happens. But to see it happen like from 88K to 53K or whatever is crazy that's almost half of the views uh, so i'll leave this gr this exposed video linked in the description if you guys want to take a look and see everything grinding had to say but i say this bro grinding you make some dope ass exposed videos man and the entire nba 2k community had a reaction to that grinding video cold man put out a tweet saying grinding is a walking w nadex says your exposed videos are deadly i was in two of them <laughs> <laughs> and so that's kind of where all the drama fizzled out. Uh, Chalk does get in the news from time to time for doing sh and trying to get himself into pr into issues where like he really could have just skirted and avoided. And this seems like another one. I do feel for him though. There are times where I just been like, man, yeah, sure, I right. through the text just so the person could shut the fuck up. So really, throughout all of this, this is what I learned. Cause I don't know Chalk. I've never really spoken to Chalk before, so I can't speak for him, right? But what I can say is that guy who texted Chalk, baited him in saying that screenshot it and then sent it is, in my opinion, the worst out of the bunch, you know what I'm saying? Like that's the kind of person you never want to affiliate with because there's gonna be zero trust. He's in it for himself. But I will end this story off like this. Chalk, you do often get yourself into situations that could have been easily avoided. I don't know you at all, I've never spoken to you, but I do hope at some point you figure this out, man. Cause there's no reason to continuously get yourself in tough situations that you could have easily just avoided. That should not happen anymore. And when you do, don't be the whole victim in all of this, you began this. Was it wildly unfortunate that you were in communication with a snake? Yes. But you could have avoided the situation nonetheless, my guy. I don't know whether or not he view bots. I can't verify that. But after you watch that grinding video, the evidence does, the evidence does look pretty damning. Uh, but, you know what I'm saying? Again, that is none of my business. You don't get money off of that bullshit. YouTube will pull the views when they peep it. So there's actually no real benefit to doing it anyway. For the next story of the day, I'm not gonna lie to you guys from being very honest. I kind of missed some tweets here. You know what I'm saying? I was not in the city. I was out in LA shooting videos. You guys are gonna see on the second channel. Subscribe, link at the top of the description uh, for the third time in this video. I'm gonna chill. Uh, but uh, this, I'm gonna cover basically the stuff I got screenshots of. It's, it's a pretty short one. Uh, King French content creator puts out a tweet saying, people say I'm weird for following zero people, but I'm at my happiest. I don't care about keeping up to date with pointless news and beefs. Oh, that's my job, guys. I'm focused on my own path to success, and if you don't like that, then that sucks for you. He also said in a tweet, just unfollowed everyone on Twitter, no distractions. I still support those that support me. Just know a follow doesn't mean Joe knows though quote tweeted that saying, wait, but I thought, never mind. I think the point has been made. And yo, believe it or not, guys, I missed the point. I so I'm putting this in the drama, but I don't actually know what went on, which is crazy, guys. It's like I'm falling off. Y'all haven't seen me for over a month here on this channel, and it's because I lost my touch. Agent Joe doesn't trust me with the news no more, man. I will say this though, a lot of people take like Twitter follows, Instagram follows way too seriously. Yo, bro, if I don't care to see your tweets because it's not funny or interesting then I'm not gonna follow you, you feel me? I'll make exceptions to like my biggest fans, like I'll follow them on Twitter, or I'll make exceptions to like athletes who might occasionally post some shit, but that's it. Yeah, I, I fully support the mindset of like, man, don't take a follow so damn serious. I, I'm not gonna lie to y'all, I missed the drama here, it's apologies. Well, I'm sure y'all to know from the bottom of my heart, I will get better, you feel me? I'm just real rusty right now. We know heading into the launch, cause we are gonna talk about this in a moment, it's gonna be a whole lot of 2K21 drama and news, ladies and gentlemen, and I will be here to cover it. Uh, but yeah, stay up, Joe knows, King French, don't know what the point is, I probably should have inquired, I'm not gonna lie, I'm, I'm really falling off here. For the next story of the day, NBA 2K21 decided to tease everyone here with this tweet, they said this, 
like for current gen gameplay hashtag nba 2k21 up until this point the nba 2k tv interview with mike wang is the only 2k21 news we have and that's news of next gen not current gen so putting out this tweet will be the first time we even hear or see anything about next gen i'm excited the next day nba 2k21 posted this video on their twitter they said this first look at current gen gameplay hashtag nba 2k21 get ready to play on september the fourth and pre-order now and they sent a link i'm gonna play a part of this video here where damian lillard the cover lillard athlete they're just showing it let me mute this real quick before i catch some copyright clock is winding down you know dame clutch times and step back pull up jay now i'll say this a lot of people was bugging about this contest coming in late and not mattering uh there was big issue made about the shot meter which looks different this year i'll say this they're playing on rookie difficulty you know what I'm saying? They always do this every year. This is not going to be indicative of superstar park difficulty, prime difficulty, my team difficulty. And the shot eventually goes in. So after you watch the entirety of the trailer, you begin to realize this looks exactly like NBA 2K20. And that's actually what everybody else thought too. And let's go to these tweets because everybody had a reaction. Duke put out a tweet saying, during that current Gen 2K21 gameplay, there were so many recycled animations, it was crazy. LMAO! And it's true, there was a lot of recycled animations. In the 2K20, 2K TV interview, Mike Wang mentioned that there's two different dev teams and he's working on Next Gen. And he spent the entirety of that time talking about Next Gen, even though that's months away from now. The game that we're getting in a month, this is the first and only thing we've seen of it. And all we know about it so far is that there's tons of recycled animations. Damian Lillard is a cover athlete. We know what the soundtrack and the loading screen is looking like. That's about it. Steezo put out a tweet saying, just watched the new 2K21 trailer and the first thing I noticed is Dame doing a walking size up, hitting a heavily contested deep three and Trey Young doing that park handle through the legs. Nobody does on purpose. We might be doomed, y'all. Hank the Tank responded to that tweet saying, for real. Toasted, though, put out this tweet uh, kind of blowing up the shot meter because everyone was kind of curious. That was one of the main things that changed that we seen visually. And this is a blown up version of what that shot meter looks like, ladies and gentlemen. Now it's at the top of the player. I hope, like last year, they give us an option to sift through different types of shot meters, and this is one of them. So if we find that this is a garbage shot meter when we actually play the game, we can just move back to the stuff that worked last year that we preferred. Oprah Side put out a tweet saying, this 2K21? or 2k20 question <laughs> mark the only other bit of information we get from here this trailer is this bit where they have a whole bunch of scenes of la chicago but they do have berlin which is interesting maybe it's an opportunity uh maybe some euro league integration maybe we actually get a chance to play in berlin i don't know if you guys remember over a decade and a half ago there was an option in the street mode where you could do 2v2 3v3 1v1 to play at train stop to play in egypt to play in china like that was all an option in very old nba 2k games so the, the prospect of them bringing that back gets me excited but, I, but this is 5v5 gameplay they're putting these titles on barcelona everything is the neighborhood and the only other bit that people was excited about was this screenshot here 2k beach everyone's jumping to conclusions saying that affiliations are back and that's something a lot of people have wanted back since uh 2k 17 and so i'm hoping this means that we get a slew of different neighborhoods something new to look at i'm hoping we get some additional animations man if there was no new animations in 2k 21 for current gen that's gonna be a huge blow because that's the most important thing when it comes to the gameplay hopefully the art team stepped up this year both on next gen and current gen we can get some good Shit. but that's all we know so far ladies and gentlemen if you guys enjoyed the news man you're caught up drop a like some videos on the screen right now man Just link in the description to my new second channel almost at 300k appreciate y'all showing love and i'll catch you guys in the next one i'm out